But what really worries me, folks, there's a lot more of this left-wing policy that's coming. Stock market so far seems to be shrugging it off. Mr. Donson, I want to start with you. The market has Teflon. There's a lot of anti-growth, anti-business, anti-profits legislation, taxes and whatnot, and the stock market is ignoring it. Why is this? Because the market does not trade off of politics, first and foremost. It trades off of corporate profits. And corporate profits are recovering, and corporate profits are going higher, and they're doing it at a time when the interest rate is at 0%. So people don't want to be in bonds. They don't want to be in Europe. They don't want to be in other asset classes. They like U.S. stocks because that's where the money is. The, the politics thing has been there forever. You recall, Larry, how many people were shocked, shocked that markets were going higher when President Trump was in office. A lot of my friends on the right were shocked when markets were doing well when President Obama was in office. I think that right now there's a lot of policy concerns. You've highlighted them. But corporate profits drive stocks always and forever. These Washington policies, at least at the margin, can have a big impact on economic trends. So maybe the market wants to see if this legislation is going to go through and the battle over reconciliation. But I'm interested and would ask you, everyone's bullish. Everyone. There's no bears. I cannot find a bear. Not a real bear. And people I respect are bullish. Others are bullish. Everybody's bullish. Um, is that a concern to you? Yeah, I can tell you where to find some bears, Larry. They write newsletters for a living, so they're out there somewhere. <laughs> but here's, here's the thing, my friend. Uh, I cannot believe that I'm the most optimistic person on this panel. It's, I'm not used to this. <laughs> the 50-50 the Senate and a four-vote lead in the House is why the market doesn't believe that we're about to get Elizabeth Warren tax policy, because mm. we're not. They might get a capital gain rate above a million dollars higher. I don't think he'll touch dividends. They might move the corporate tax rate, but then bring back some of the loopholes and deductions that you all got rid of. And guess what? His thing about the top marginal rate, he's going to be cutting taxes on high earners in blue states if he gets rid of the SALT deduction deal, if they bring that back, I should say. So the reality is the market can't price in the bad news of tax changes because I don't think the market knows the politics of what's going to be able to get done. I do know it's not going to be what it could be if they had 55 senators, which they don't. But you know,